Good morning. Um, this is Dr. Rutledge and giving you gastric surgery patients an update on vitamins. And uh, we have on our YouTube channel a lot of videos on this topic, but recently got a couple of other questions and have had a few patients uh, bring up some issues. So I thought I'd go over this again because it's so counterintuitive. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Uh, as a background, we know vitamins are vitamins because they are critical for our good health. We all remember the story of vitamin C. In the absence of ascorbic acid vitamin C, we develop scurvy, which is a deficiency in vitamin C, which is dangerous and even potentially deadly. And so we know that vitamin C needs to be part of our healthy diet. And in the absence of foods that contain vitamin C, uh, vitamin C deficiency can occur. And with that deficiency, we can identify an illness that can be treated by giving tablets or intravenous vitamin C. So it seems very logical, it seems natural, it seems reasonable, it seems that we can expect that if a little bit of vitamin C is good, then a teaspoon, a tablespoon, a bowl, a quart, a gallon of vitamin C would be even better. And of course we remember uh, a very famous Nobel Prize winner who thought that grams and grams of vitamin C every day would be helpful. Now it turns out the research in vitamin C is pretty clear in that high doses of vitamin C are probably not helpful. And in fact, any dose of vitamin C really has very little research to support that it has any value at all. And again, that's in contrast to knowing that in the absence of vitamin C, vitamin C tablets or intravenous doses can be life-saving. So again, what we've got here is something that's quite subtle, quite difficult to understand, but is repeated over and over again in many other vitamins. And so let's look at these topics and try and help educate you and guide you into your own decision making about taking vitamins. Again, the example of vitamin C is, is really crucial and I'll kind of repeat it one more time because it is a little bit confusing. We need vitamin C. Vitamin C is critical for life. In the absence of food that has vitamin C in it, supplemental, oral, or intravenous vitamin C can be life-saving, but research is very clear that additional higher or even ultra-high doses of vitamin C are not helpful and very likely may be harmful. For example, they may contribute to the risk of developing kidney stones. So while we think it's very valuable to eat fruit and foods that contain vitamin C, my advice, and I think the general advice from physicians who are interested in this topic and knowledgeable, is it's a very bad idea to take additional supplemental vitamin C for any reason. I'll stop for a minute while people go, no! Uh, scream at the screen for a second. But wouldn't it be interesting if we looked at other vitamins, other critical, important parts of our diet, vitamins and minerals, and find the same kind of information. So, as an example, there is a large-scale study of 182,000 older men and women who took multivitamins and found that those who took multivitamins had no improvement in health, no decrease in heart disease, vascular disease, no longer life. And that was just published in the Journal of Epidemiology. In another study of 161,000 postoperative women, sorry, in 161,000 postmenopausal women in the Women's Health Initiative, 41% regularly took multivitamins, and they had no difference in ovarian, colorectal, or breast cancer compared to those who took no vitamins. 
That is, taking vitamins made no difference. In another study of 83,000 patients in the Physician's Health Study, a quarter of those doctors took multivitamins, and again, there was no value in the health of those physicians in that very large study followed for a very large period of time. Other studies have also raised concerns about the lack of value of supplemental vitamins. One way to think about this is that man-made vitamins or synthetic vitamins or vitamins separated from the foods that they are contained in are different than actually eating the foods that have the vitamin. The vitamin C, for example, in a tablet is different than eating an orange or a citrus. In studies of vitamin A, vitamin D, B vitamins, the research has shown over and over again a lack of value of these oral supplemental vitamins. Even at very high doses, the B vitamins, vitamin A, uh, have come back with research that show no extra value in taking these high dose of vitamins. And recently, very disappointingly, we found that there may be some danger. Now, what I mean by that is, even if you believe, well, gee, these vitamins at high doses are not going to help me, Go ahead and take them anyways if it makes you feel better because at least they're not harmful. In other words, a high dose of vitamin C, you could say, eh, maybe it doesn't help, maybe it doesn't help, but uh, no, it doesn't hurt. And now the research is showing that these very high doses of vitamins, including even B vitamins, now again, think for a moment how safe B vitamins or stress tabs have come out with B vitamins in them. We just had this routine feeling that B vitamins in general were good and high doses were even better. Again, dozens of studies have come out very clearly stating that that's not the case and in fact some recent studies have suggested that it may increase the risk of vascular disease or even death in a study of older women who took higher doses of vitamins. Okay, so the take home message is eat a healthy diet. Oh, wait a minute, let me stop for a second. That seems too simple, doesn't it? We're saying eat a healthy diet. That is, food that contains vitamins, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and whole grain foods, things you've heard a hundred, maybe thousands of times, are the center part of good health. And that trying to eat a junky diet, a poor diet, a diet that has low amounts of these kinds of vitamins and minerals, and making up for it with a tablet is probably unwise and may actually be dangerous. Anyways, that's the latest. We've said this before. More research just came out today which shows that, which I've referred to. And uh, have a good day and we'll be back on our YouTube channel again soon.